Today at Jejudo, we'll be visiting the famous Jeju Love Land, gorging some fresh abalones, exploring the Udo Island, watching the sunset at Sunrise Peak, and finishing the day off with macro leaf wraps. So we are going to Love Land today, and then maybe the east side of Jejudo. So let's go! <laughs> I like these little pics on the lights. They're <laughs> so cute. It's a huge dig. So cute. Oh, cute swing. It's a very pretty place, especially if there's nobody around. It's kind of a romantic stroll and quite funny. So yeah, I come in the morning for Love Land to avoid the tour groups. Now off for lunch. So for lunch, we're gonna have abalone. I found this on the Strictly Dumpling channel, so it's gonna be good. Quite excited. So this is the menu. Just reached 12 noon and it's already full. Oh my god! Look at it! So you have 11 abalones for 30,000. Look at the juice in the shell. And a big piece of abalone. I never had such a big abalone in one mouth before. First time. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good. Had to slowly and enjoy it. Oh, it's so fresh and they cook perfectly. Then you have a bit, bit of a chart taste. And after that, it's a nice fresh abalone taste. And now the sauce. Oh. Oh, that's good. So it comes with two sauce. One is gochujang. The other one is like a mince. I'm not so sure what is this. But it's very, very refreshing and light. And the store owner asked us to dip it with the abalone. So I'm gonna do that. The sauces fit perfectly together. Oh, never thought I would love abalone so much. So for this shop, they also give this piece of fish as banchan. So it just comes together with the meal. Our rice is here. Wow. This is a stone pot abalone rice with abalone and pumpkin. So I'm gonna give it a taste now. This is actually very good. The rice itself has a lot of flavour. All the juice from the abalone goes into the rice. And then you have the nice sweet pumpkin in between the rice, which makes this very, very good. This is the best part of any clay pot rice. Chuck ends. Oh, yeah. So we are still slightly hungry. And since we are already in Jeju Do, why not try the abalone porridge? Ta da! To me, the porridge may be a bit bland. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of porridge, but I added a bit of the macro inside, and it's so good now. Our macro just multiplied. <laughs> no, I think we ordered too much food. So the whole meal cost us fifty-seven thousand, and for the amount of abalone that we ate, I think it's very worth it. So right outside the store, there's a mini cakes. This is so cute. The buns are shaped as a Jejudo statue, which is so cute. And inside, this is orange jam. You should eat it when it's hot. And then the outside is very crispy, and inside is very, very soft. Have a nice walk along the ocean after the meal. Oh, it's the sea! Oh, they are the famous Ajumas that dives for the Avalon. Look at them carrying all their haul. They just, they just die without any tanks. Wow. After a stroll by the sea, we head to Udo Island. We are at the passenger terminal. You need a boarding card and your passport when you buy a ticket. You can get your boarding pass here. And our boat is here. That's Hanasan. I don't speak in Korea. So the main way people go around the island is either by bike, scooter or ATV. So I think you can rent it here. So we have decided to take the buses, the bus tour, 6,000 per person. So you take this kind of pink buses. So they have four different locations and you can just hop on to any of the pink buses. Which is kind of nice. So now we are at the lighthouse. 
We decided to have some ice cream. Over here is known for their peanut ice cream, but we had it yesterday. So today we're trying the mandarin ice cream. So this is the Gomole Beach, which is the black sand beach. Wow. It's all natural black sand. It's so cool. I think it's from, mostly from the ash or the lava. Diving we went. Another one there. There's actually quite a lot of things to do at Udo Island. So I saw a lot of those little ATVs I'm guessing. And the little scooters. So it looks very fun. So if you have the time and you plan a bit about where to go, it'd be a nice place to actually just joyride around and enjoy the island and the sea. Now we're gonna head back to the main island of Jeju and grab some dinner even though we just ate. <laughs> it's a bit too early for dinner. So now we're at Sunrise Peak, or for this timing, Sunset Peak. But it's still very pretty. Let's go. It's 2,000 won per person. I'll say it's worth it. Oh, I didn't know it's a new Seven Wonder of Nature. Stairs. It stairs all the way. The view on top better be worth it. Fish the top. Look at the fishing boats. It's so cute. So this crater was formed by a volcanic eruption 5,000 years ago. So they are they have these seats where you can sit down. So you can enjoy the nice view. So now it's getting dark and we have worked up appetite. So now let's go and find dinner. Yeah. Look at it. Let me get a mouthful of soup. Oh. I don't know why my taste like tomato soup to me. And a bit of asam. Now I'll put all the gravy on the rice. Yeah. Pop with gravy, I haven't had that in a long while. Where's the fish? Oh. I can't fit it. Look at how the fish picks apart so easily. So this is our banchan. We have the wraps, leaves for the wraps, some anchovies, kimchi, seaweed, and guanjang kejang. This is actually the fermented raw crab. So I've tried guanjang kejang before. She's gonna say now she's gonna try it. So how do you actually squeeze out the meat? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, and then you suck it up. This is it. <laughs> nice, right? Yeah. We have cut our bowl. The highlight for me for this dish is actually the sauce and the rice and a bit of the radish or kimchi. And oh, they just come together perfectly. And so delicious. I'm so full right now. So this stew is actually perfect, especially in the nice cold weather after you've been walking around for the whole day. This is how the restaurant looks like from the outside. It looks a bit run down but the food inside is delicious. So I think that's all for today. So most of the things are in the east side of Jeju though, other than Loveland. So the Avalon we had for lunch, Udo and the Sunrise Peak as well as this mackerel wrap place. You can actually visit them together in a single day. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe as I'll be putting out more videos and see you in the next video. Bye bye.